Greetings, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I don't quite remember what we were supposed to do. It's been a couple of days since the last time I loaded. God damn it, I gave you 10 minutes to load up. Can we go? No. Eh, never mind then. Stop! Hello. Thank you. Hello. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. Okay. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. God damn it. Dullness of mind. Some people, but no one in this office, I assure you. Of course. Call it stupidity. Oh. Hey, who's she calling stupid? You. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policy. Do we have... Do we have Ellie with us right now? Mm, I need to change the beneficiary on Merlin's friend Hill's life insurance policy. I remember that one. Yeah. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? That claim yeah. is tight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Let's see on top. You just want to change... Her beneficiary. And of course, only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries, and she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change the yeah, policy, yeah, I know. Time, imagine the paperwork. <sighs> Forget it. For the best. What can I do for you? Nothing. I'll be right back with Ellie with me. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Ellie. Now you I do all the job. Yes. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. No, thank you. Sure all of your fragments must be covered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts to kick in. Sure. I want to discuss Marilyn's Fan Hill's beneficiaries. I'm afraid I still can't help you. If we let Ellie. Your friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, Marilyn isn't dead. Of course she is. The paperwork says so. Ellie. I, Thank I you. I think she's dead in spirit, but technically, legally, and regretfully, I'm still Marilyn Fanhill. That's impossible. By all accounts, she was an elegant and classy woman with impossibly fine bone structure. That couldn't possibly be you. That's gotta be the nicest thing anyone said to me in a long while. Okay, but how would I change it? Still? Hypothetically. No. Well, hypothetically. You'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. Okay. That, no. No, I want that so I could do it. <sighs> right. I think you have something in your eye. Perhaps uh. I can interest you in our ocular abnormality coverage. No. Uh, you'll do this or you'll be filing your own claim. Please. My policy only covers paper cuts and wrist strain. Mm. Very well. I'll Thank you. Soon, but then you've got to go. Sure. Confrontations like this will raise my premiums. I'll need the name of the new beneficiary. Um, Ellie Fenhill. If you say so. The payouts will flow exclusively into the new account at the start of the month. I hope Ms. Fenhill enjoys her newfound prosperity. Yeah, what? Why is your office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Uh, if you say so, no, I guess. It's certainly not about what I say. Yeah. It's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Okay. I don't want to talk about in insurance, really. Yeah. You really did it. Yep. Give these payouts a few years, and I'll be rolling in it. Congratulations! How does it feel? I've never been prouder to stand back and watch someone else work. Hmm. I'm just glad my folks aren't gonna live off that awful story they made up. Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. What are you going to do with all those bits? Come on, I thought we were celebrating. <laughs> you want me to think about the future? Yep. Why not? Maybe you haven't noticed? But you can't even count on a bribe making it into the right pocket. 
What's the point of planning for anything around here? Mm, if you can intimidate everyone, then you don't have to worry about bribes. Uh, that's the kind of thing that's running the, this place. I hate to say it, but Halston's mm. already there. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. Thank you. Mm, I appreciate it, but I didn't do this for the money, this really. With all your tough talk. Mm. What's gotten into you? You're my friend. Are you sure? Yeah. My kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. You are, you are a doctor, aren't you? I'm a doer, not a talker. Well, I am a talker. <laughs> I am a very big talker. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then, so that one day, they watch yours. So... If you so think so. One of us has to look out for your interests. Yeah... Whatever you say. Yeah, yeah, don't make too much of this, okay? Okay... Yes, that's it. Let's go back to our ship. And let's see what else we can do. Okay, let's think. They always are causing a disturbance, Ada. Don't worry about that, really. Okay, let's see. Uh, the suit. Can I take the suit? Can I make? Okay, I'll go like that. Salas so needs to see what the rest of Halcyon wears, so the Byzantine speaks to Salas with wearing a suit of armor and headpiece from the phone. Iconoclast, Marauder, and Space are out. I'll check that later. <laughs> and was communication and send up? No, I won't send tracking. No, I won't betray Phineas. I like him. He's crazy. Thank you, Ada. Can I go alone? Yeah. God damn it, I really wanted to go alone this time. Just... Uh, my fingers are faster than my mind. Okay, let's talk to Phineas and he'll meet yet another two of my crew members. Yay! You're gonna love it. Wait, that's new? Or not? Might be wrong. Probably wrong. Hey. Busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Okay. I f it forget that f about that for a second. The colonists on the verge of collapse. What? Mm -hmm. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Okay, it gets worse. The Chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Hold on. Let me yeah. understand this correctly. Are you saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? Yep. So the Chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I don't know. Yeah. That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other people. We have the chemicals. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Wait, wait. I found your chemicals. Human test subjects. Yes. I had no. put them out of the misery. Here's your canister. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Well, it was hard for me too. They must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Hmm. The board.
boards trying to mitigate damage to human tissue during the revival process. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over yes. again without inflicting permanent damage? Yep. Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. Were you one of them? What makes you say that? He. <laughs> to think about this there has to be something we can do can't we lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head well that's not gonna work for us on the hope scientists engineers artists the brightest minds earth ever sent us uncorrupted by the board the board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope into a prison for the rest of us they're likely on their way to the hope as we speak we need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. There's a way, it's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! Thank you! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The hopes probably damage will have to root power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. I'm smart. Yeah. Okay. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. This is crazy. Definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? I don't understand a word you said, Doc. All I know is if we're gonna hijack a colony ship, count me in. Can you hijack anything? Excellent. I approve of your enthusiasm, young man. You should ask your captain for a raise. We can talk about the way later. Okay. You said they are not, and they are not corrupted. Yeah. Just don't ask me to plant a tracking signal in a lab. You absolutely should. Yes? Wait, what? You've got a plan, right? The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. Okay. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That's smart. Buy me some time. I get it, you want to prepare. Ooh, I like that. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Okay. Okay. Yay! Another skill. Another level. God damn it. Oh, and skill. Send corrupted tracking signal. Nice. Thank you! 
Okay, and give me a second, be right back. Okay, there's that any yeah, Felix gives us pathway. I don't know why he wanted hijack anything if he's only good if he's good at talking, really. Movement speed with TTD, you know. I haven't used that once. Okay, I'll take this one I think. Yeah, if I use the time duration, tactical time duration, it was probably by accident and I only did that once. Really hope I'm this is not the end. Okay. Captain, yes. No. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. Okay. I'm impressed, Captain. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could... That's a shame. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. Don't want to. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Hmm, Byzantium is a big place. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. I don't trust you. Has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Can we do something? No, oh, let's go, I guess. So we are, can either go to Hope or... You know what? I don't really trust her, so I'm gonna save here. And we will meet her. Um, T, so... Yeah. We'll go. That's uh, this is one, yeah. That's the one. Gonna take some Felix and some with me. Yeah. Also, allow me. To, oh no, I think I am. I have got everything. No, it's stealth, clothing, and hacking. No, I wanna press it. Is there anything else? No. Dialogue skills, that's all better. Yeah, don't fight and determination. Okay, so there's that, my talking suit. Do I have the right? Oh, oh check with her. Oh, okay. No, uh, change of plan. We're gonna talk with Parvati first. <laughs> I completely forgot about her date. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they're also always arguing. Parvati? Next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. You met that auto mechanical clown king around the ship, yep. Oh, you mean Sam? Me? He's just sweet as <gasps> I king. know, right? Farmer, my dad would say. Have you given him a nickname? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? Yeah. Of course, that don't stop Felix. Okay. No, I like this weapon. So we are gonna go... Wait, check on the body machine barriers. Yeah, we're gonna be going back on Groundbreaker, guys. Dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. What? My diagnosis of his mental yeah. ability is not flattering. Yeah, I don't care. Really, he wants to help those people on my ship. Thank you. Okay, are you ready now? All right, she's on her way. How do I look? I don't know. Uh, you look terrific. My hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Oh. Where am I? Oh, I'm in my... Should I go out? Hmm. What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing here. No. How to send messages. Look, there's no call for shouting. My terminal was busted, had a few too many. Blah, 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 blah. 
It's not important. Okay. I don't really wanna. Oh, Sam, you, sh you shouldn't be peeing here, Sam. Okay. Um. Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Are you okay? You're okay. Where's oh there? Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I don't need your help. I'll do it on my own. What did he say to that? Okay, I'm not gonna eavesdrop. It's not nice. Okay, so is that no? Oh. Okay, we should leave. leave the ship and let them enjoy their date. Come on, this is my ship! Thank you. Yeah, I'll take those two guys with me for company. Can I go back? Can I go back? Okay, good. <laughs> what the hell? Just going back and forth. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They always are. I cannot cool them down. Did it go well? So you laid out the meal, brought John in, and started the music. She stood stock okay. still and just said, "Oh, real soft." Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, "Is that dust back casserole?" I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us. So it was double authentic, made by a real live monar monarchian, monarchist, monarchist. Okay. So the meal went well. Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Smooth. One of us has got to be. We're both... June's so reserved and I'm so shy. I, I worried if I never said anything, nothing would ever get said, you know? Yeah, I get it. I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She what? talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. Wait, she wrote a speech. She was worried she wouldn't get the words out right, especially after that message about Isabel. Sweet. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! <sighs> okay, the important thing no more random errands. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> Gonna head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. Yay! Okay, we can go talk to the lady with who I don't trust. Thank you. Thank you, Ada. Yeah, this one. Okay, and this is this one? Oh, no hope, stocking base, this one. Yeah. So if I remember correctly, Sam's giving me intimidation. Shame that I can't see it here. And the yeah, and Felix is giving persuasion persuade, so everything's fine. Whew. Weapons stay stays with me. Get it? Not so fast. What now? Alright, you're clear. 
Thank you. I bet you she's expect expecting. Wait, 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 give me a second. I forgot. I don't want to do all those things with Parvati again. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, you've got it. If something is when go if something goes wrong, shoot her with acid. Hey, hello. How are you guys? Wait. Haven't I been in this place? Yeah, I've been in this place. Hugs in the room. <laughs> hello. I admit part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. He did. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. I don't care. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Why you wanted to see me? I understand you've infiltrated the ministry. The thing no. you discovered there must have been shocking. Even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept. But we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. Uh, I know this must come as a surprise hmm. to you. I imagine you have questions. One of the scientists managed to grow plants. People ain't gonna stand for this. We'll fight back. We'll tear down the walls of Byzantium. Shouldn't have taken him no, with me. Mr. Millstone, you will not. The workers of Halcyon will do exactly as they are told, as they always have. Your dreams of a people's revolution are the juvenile fantasies of a frustrated child. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. <laughs> We need to talk about this lifetime employment program. However I can. Good. You don't honestly believe all this lifetime employment nonsense, right? The lifetime employment program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil master. It sounds like it is. No dark secret buried in the fine print. I don't trust you. Well, the program is you know what? It's reasonable. It's merciful. And you like your whole colony ship. Uh, I saw the presentation. Rock Rockwell wants to sacrifice the colony to save Byzantium. Byzantium is the beating heart of our colony, and as long as Byzantium survives, Halcyon may one day recover from the collapse. We must protect this city at any cost. Help me execute the lifetime employment program, and you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. People you will live in <sighs> and want for nothing. People in Byzantium are morons. What's your take on all this? When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked, even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. And you want to keep those people, but sacrifice all the scientists, engineers, great minds that are on the hope. What the hell is wrong with you? Really? That's not the kind of language I expect from the chairman's own adjutant. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's pretty good argument for getting rid of the board. I admit, hmm. I occasionally fantasize about making an executive decision without having some tedious committee questioning my every move. Do you have any idea how much paperwork is involved in ordering someone's execution through the usual channels? It's positively maddening. That's good, you know. Uh, what does any of this have to do with me? Wells over to me. I, I didn't. You've demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment. And you deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. 
Not a fan of the bureaucracy, eh? Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign? Should I care? Decision. I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. How long do we have? I've already crossed the point of no return. The collapse has already begun. You must have noticed the signs in Emerald Vale. Malnutrition, disease, high mortality rates. This is a permanent famine, Captain. We've done all we can to curb their hunger. Very soon, people are going to realize they're starving. Well, the Emerald Vale found a way. Your workers must remain productive when as little food as possible. And they must always believe that food is plentiful. That's what that research in Rosaway was all about. I'm sure you remember Dr. Anton Crane. No. His research was instrumental in developing the powerful appetite. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. The solution is a temporary one. Before long, our workers are going to feel the effects of starvation. The lifetime employment program is our only viable option. We need to talk about Emily. Yeah. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. Yes. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. Adelaide found a solution for the malnutrition. You will do exactly as you're told, or I will have you shot for insubordination. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. What did Edward do to deserve that? You replace a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Can I put you down on right now, right on in this very room? The, the board is responsible for this climate, and this is all your fault what happened there. Because we were negligent. Yes! You're right, the colony can't possibly feed itself. And it's our fault. This is our mess. And the only way we're cleaning it up is by taking action. But you're going the wrong way! I'm asking you to be a surgeon. No, you're if asking you me to be a murderer. Limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. I already killed a little robot on the Emerald Valley and I feel very bad about that, so I'm not go killing anyone else there. Otherwise, people are self-sufficient. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. <coughs> Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. You are a moron. You are completely insane. Allowing yes. Allowing to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You're choosing facts you don't like. Do you just ignore them. No. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Cat. No. I rather like you, and I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. Uh, go to hell. I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. Kill her! Whoa, kill them! Well, wait, don't touch me. Hmm. Not taking orders from someone so blinded. Things fall apart, the center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loosened upon the world, the bloody dim tide is loosed, and everywhere 
The ceremony of innocence is drowned, the best lack of conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. Surely some revelation is at hand. Eh. Come on, guys, we're going back. Go oh, get them. Well, near hostile, so alright. Come on, guys, we still have to get back on the unreliable, and then we, we're going for hope. What? Oh, Whoa, where have you been? I haven't seen you. What the fuck? Stay down. Oh, I forgot I have my... I have my... What's my face? My talking suit on. Nice! We're gonna kill whole board if that's necessary. Hello! I can shoot properly, I can shoot properly! Come on, Felix! Thank you, son. Good. There probably was a way to make everyone love you, but I just don't want to be friends with this insane person. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Oh, let them be. Let's go. I hope. Yes. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen if I skip the hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, okay. You could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Mm. For the sun. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's go. You killed the adjutant? Yes. We are outlaws in the truest sense of the word now. I don't care. I didn't like her, and I was. I'll try, and I certainly wasn't gonna wipe out the whole edge water just because she didn't like the person running it now. So, sorry, not sorry. Screw you. Oh my god! Oh, don't, 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 don't. Thank you. Okay, we should be alone up here. I hope that's true. Okay, I see some hostiles though. Uh, patch route, actually, power to this. To yes. First, not being routed, routed. Okay, power status. Okay, maintenance status. Okay, hibernation status. Okay, locks. Okay, ten years, and then this folks say goodbye to a blue. Yeah, if I wants to get riddance, but okay. Exploding, so I guess it yeah. Can I just go? This is workman, right? Yeah, I think so. Come on. Me. Give me those. Those. How did they get here? Oh, nice. Woo. <laughs> think we're supposed to go not through here. Nope. We're so lucky to 
sound the thing. Hello. What do we need to get through here? This is gonna end soon, right? How can I recharge it? Persuade this statement is false. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. Yes. Everything I say is false. Th nah, will do. Thank you. Oh, so this is how that works. Okay. Let's see this. Uh, okay. Status. Okay, hey, looks. Hmm. Okay. Am I the only one who wants to scratch my name on one of those pods? Yeah. Yeah. I figured. Road communication through the animal level. Good. And I'm attempting to establish contact with the hopes more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood-suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? No. Sorry. Final not sound. I'm glad. Okay. Let's see. Logs automated. Okay. Okay. Can I somehow turn off those guys? Uh, I guess not. What's up? Ooh. Okay, so we have the bridge key now. Really? How can I turn that off? Okay, by the way, be right back. And as you can see, we are 130 in press wave. Really, can I somehow... Okay, we're good now. Wait, what? All oh, right, those are rats. No wonder that my disguise, my disguise failed. Oh, god damn it! Do we even want to be here? I have no idea how to navigate this place, really. I don't think we're supposed to go through here. Yeah. Not that. Was I disguising as one of those things? Oh, I think for here? Yeah, that might be it. Are you guys stressed out? Because I am. I try not walking too closely. And one. Okay. Why is it now going so fast? Okay, comes patch Ada through. Hello. Okay, am I really doing the right thing, Ada? Thanks. Please stand by. Ah, oh, found one. It will go great, Captain. 
I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Thank you. Yeah, that's reassuring. I'm ready. Are you sure? That is extremely mm. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. Mm. And also potentially kill an entire <laughs> How is my hero now, Captain? Improved? No. <sighs> okay, skip. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Mm, do it. Worst ways to go out, I suppose. <laughs> stop talking in the way that we're gonna die. We're not gonna die, okay? Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? Yeah. That's what my captain intends. Yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport. And this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Oh good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps we should check in on him. I really thought we were gonna die. Yes. Fallen debris and spilled contents detected. Likely cause reckless piloting. Scheduling service. Extensive cleanup. Well at least I know that full full for reckless. Piloting. Um. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a skeleton. Okay, let's get down. Back down there, I guess. I hope I have no. Oh, okay. I see now. Why I can? Okay. Okay, let's get the back. Finish. From here, I think. Hello, let me through! I hate you. I like the way that you can just <laughs> go through all this place. <laughs> this whole place unnoticed. Just like that. Should we sprint for it? Someone sees us, I guess, so... Ah, looks like we're good. And I really am thinking... Oh, and this whole duration, this whole casting, I was just waiting for some kind of fail. I don't know, for the ship to fall apart, or for engines not to start up, just something to show. I am receiving a transmission oh. from Dr. Wells. The transmission is marked with priority. Okay. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Okay, okay. Thank the law, you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board. All their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine! Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine! You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never- No! It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. 
I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check yes. as soon as possible. Yep. How can I be of assistance? You know how you can be of assistance. Just take me there. I'll be here. Oh, damn it, Ada. Go to Finesse's lab. Hurry! I have no time. Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. Good luck, Captain. Thank you. Phineas? Okay, this looks the same as previously. Phineas? The glass is untouched. Oh 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 let me heal let me heal hmm really change your weapon thank you would you mind doing with him thank you you done What's that? As per official arrest protocol outlined in defense logistic, blah 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 blah, blah the individual who has been the properly arrested for crimes listed under their names. Please note that this is the only copy of this receipt that you will receive. Oh, they did get inside. And he really prepared. Oh, give me that. I probably have one of those, but. See, of course, I'm gonna hack it. Okay. The hope made it to Halcyon after all 25 years too late. The board doesn't know what to do with an entire ship for frozen colonists, so naturally, they're going to leave them there. Corporate tells us survival is impossible. They've tried absolutely nothing, and apparently, they're all out of op options. Balderdash, cellular regeneration after long-term hibernation is really just a question of thermodynamics. I'm quite confident I can find a way to revive the Hope's colonists. If only Corporate would authorize my request. Frankly, I don't see why I need the permission of my employers to conduct experiments in the name of scientific advancements. What nonsense! Did Newton beg permission from his employers before discovering the free laws of motion? Genius is not beholden to the vicious <laughs> no of bureaucracy bureaucracy besides the hope has a cargo of hundreds of thousands of colonists the board practically expects a few to go missing 113 seconds new record most of my subject lasts 93 seconds on average before total cellular liquefaction reduces them to several gallons of organic soup three degrees above freezing temperature 113 seconds of screaming this subject was stronger than the other the others but in the end his body failed to survive the revival process he was my 12th subject to die i don't know how much longer i can keep doing this strictly speaking i don't know the hope has hundreds of thousands of colonists i've only experimented with 12. how many more experiments before i successfully revive a single su subject one 10, 100, 500, Statist statistically insignificant. If I experiment on one subject every month, I would not make a dent in the host population in a lifetime. I can still hear the screaming, trouble sleeping, trouble concentrating, psychological toll, significant. On the subject number 13. I will always suspect that this would happen. The board finally discovered what I've I done and send their headhunters to track me down, but they'll never find me. They say I'm a murderer, and they're right, I am. I regret what I've done, but I'm not about to turn myself into the board. I'm not going to go begging the board's forgiveness. Only the hopes colonists can forgive me for what I've done. They are the only people who can set things right, and I'm going to find a way to revive them, no matter how long I have to stay in hiding. I've got my notes with me, I have my equipment, and now I have this lab. It's time I return to work. Okay. 
Hello? Please? Really? Oh, you got to be kidding me! Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? Give me a second, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll reload the game. That's better. It's a whole lot better. Yes! Hmm. Another planet? This is not the end? Hmm. Okay, so I might split this part in two. Because it might take us a little longer than I expected. Okay, but let's go on, <laughs> on the last planet, I think? Let's see. Ada! As it appears, we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet. Yeah. I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Okay. Now let's talk. Hi. Hi, everyone. Well, folks, I ain't exactly keen on busting into a prison, but riddling bored stooges with bullets does sound like a ride and a half. I never got to know Doc Wells. We ain't friends or crew. You saw him. He's still one of us. He's the reason the boss is up and walking right now. We can't just leave him to die in Tartarus. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. Yeah. We can't abandon him. We have to free him if we have, we have any hope of saving the colony. But by the way, what's about about the labyrinth? Let me put it this way. Yeah. The labyrinth ain't got walls to keep prisoners in. Uh. It's got walls to keep the rest of the planet out. Okay. Still, we can't do nothing. It wouldn't be right. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escapes are historically quite impossible and deadly. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Yes. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Right, you've been there. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. I would rather have a plan. You need to do this. You should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. I'm now redoing everyone's trap in. If we don't make it, at least it'll be a great story. Got my trusty tossball stick. Got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Command not recognized. No, Sam. Get ready. That's my command. We're going into the prison. And when you're in prison, be sure to stay away. Always stand. Okay, you're about to assault the labyrinth on Tartarus and determine, determine the fate of Halcyon Colony. If there's anything you know, yes. Thank you for asking. So we haven't visited two points. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Okay. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Okay. Know anything useful about this place? Is as follows. Okay. Included but not limited to executions are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I, would also I will. That you leave your captain's ID with me. In the event that you do not return, 
Mm-hmm. No. Understood. If you die or are incarcerated for life, I can generate a new ID for the next captain. I would prefer if you return, though. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Captain, no, leave me alone. Unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. I know. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. I don't care. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized. At which point, your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. We'll see about that. Hmm, what? Wait, isn't the turtle my mistake? <laughs> okay, what the hell is with people in landing voyage? I'm sorry, uh, you people? Yeah? You just cast a generalization on upstanding UDL employees. Exactly. A fine of 200 bits. I don't care. You're up to 5,708, not including the cost of your execution and the disposal of your remains, which will be assessed posthumously. I can pay up front. Hey, how do I know you're a real officer under that helmet? Show me your biometric ID. Alright. Hmm? I'm feeling generous. I'm transmitting the ID of a productive law abiding employee. Seriously? So you can see what one looks like before you die. Anyway, Tartar Stalking Authority signing up. Hang on. Another ship just pulled into your dock. God damn it. Wait, is that from the groundbreaker? What the pay no mind to that, just have a pleasant day. Can I use that ID? Biometric ID received. Nice! <laughs> How can I be of You've been plenty of assistance. Okay, talk to you later. You do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Okay. We have the guard's ID. For real? <laughs> okay, let's see. I wanna take first... <laughs> Why I can't take all of you? Okay, I won't take... Sam with me this time. I might take Yoka. What kind of weapon did you did take? Right, right, right. Give me a second. I'll check their um, stuff. I don't know their equipment before we go. Be right back. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're ready. So let's go with Felix and with Ellie. No, with Nayoka. I changed her equipment, so we're gonna go like that. That's pretty loading screen, actually. Alright, who wants to die? No one? Okay. Okay. Wait. Wrong way. I guess we are fine. Can I get in here? Oh! Can we talk? No. Stay away. There goes my plan. Oh, they are both down. Oh, and I'm down. Oh my god. Okay, definitely not hacking anywhere, not trying. Okay, I've got it. Okay, here we go. Straight for the door. I'm glad that you're here. I don't care enough to stop to help you, but I appreciate your help. Going pretty far down, aren't we? Okay, guess ready. We have a lot of shooting to do, Captain. Not really, just a lot of walking to do. Straight there. 
We're fine, as long as I'm not lost. Which I might be. Yep. Okay, this way should be okay for now. I would like to find a way, a place where I can be myself. Up here. It won't reset if I'm s if I stand still, right? Yeah. Oh, we're doing pretty good. I do dare say so. Me that and let me save. Great. Well, let's go to the pit. Hello. Is anyone here who can see me? No. Good. Access storage manifest. Oh, really? Teacher records. Okay. Damn it! I thought there was. There would be something interesting. Or at least something useful. Mm -hmm. No, William, no. Pot 2. Guess this is the one. No, oh, that's wicked. Hmm. I might give it some of you. What? 180. Okay. 171. This is 182, so yeah. Okay. Hello, fellow guys. I'm just a one of you. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Nothing out of ordinary. Ordinary. Let's go, troops. Stellar base counting on us. <laughs> oh fuck. And we are off. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I'm totally new. Are you talking while on shift? Everyone gets one mistake, just don't do it again. <laughs> this is stressful. Luckily we get two free attempts at the unseal the door, thank you. What the hell? You are pathetic, don't call me that. Are we there yet? Is that the cell? Alright, MSI. I'm not one for rousing speeches, but the captain needs our help. Sanger! I'm glad they're not fighting with me. <laughs> like this, I don't think there are. Mm. Yeah, cool. That's so cool. <laughs> they are not trying to kill me, or like our disguise is not good enough to fool our allies. Oh no, no, no! Okay. All the work you've destroyed, all the money you've cost me, your misguided crusade has doomed Halcyon. Doomed? Really? I'm just rooting out the corruption. Idiot. Yep. I'm not the one marching to my death in a maximum security prison. In any other circumstance, I'd admire your boldness. In this one, however, I have only two words for you. Fuck off. Oh, there is no call for hostility. Hostility. God damn it. No. 
unbelievable bitch. Now that's personal, okay? She should be the one wasting her time with you, but you killed her. Hmm. I'll have you hanged, quartered, bankrupted. Really? Thankfully, you're in a prison already. Find the nearest cell and wait until I'm done here. Then I'll drag you to the executioner myself. I think I want to make Finn stupid. I'm not waiting for anything. This colony is saving right now. Is that what you think you're doing? Yeah, pretty much. Path of wanton societal disruption? You yep. call that being a savior? Yeah. I call it sabotage. Yeah. You know what saboteurs get, Captain? Summary executions. In the next room is the finest auto mechanical purveyor of death ever made. Try not to scratch the paint with your skull. It was fucking expensive. <sighs> I'm sure we can talk about that. Absolutely not. God damn it. <laughs> always the sociable one, not me. Need I repeat the magic two words? Fine. Well then. And then I'll save. Because I really feel threatened. I don't want to die to auto mechanical and repeat all of that. Yeah. So I come here. So dialogue skills. No hacking. Wait, does that? No, it does not. And really? Oh no, because it's not under tech; it's under stealth. Bitch, please. Now give me back my things. I don't remember. It was that one and that was that one. Both fingers, Captain. Hacking skill, oh, of course. Okay, give me back my hacking and stuff, which gives me just what I need. This gonna try him as a hostile intruder. Wait, how is it possible? Uh, okay. Wait, give me a second. How much hacking do I have right now? 91. Okay, we're... Tech plus 5, no. Stealth minus, no. Stealth plus. We already have that one. Okay, we'll destroy it. It's a shame, but... Oh god damn it, I forgot. I actually forgot to uh it was that this one and this one. Okay now we're gonna do it properly. Bye bye okay. Just be before I forget, okay? Nation yeah Come on do your stuff Are you serious? He is a hostile! No! Oh my god! This is what I've been trying to... Shoot him in the blue thingy! I think she's gonna hit him on the side. Thank you. I don't like the sound. Pretty wasn't a nice sound. Seriously? Seriously though? I want to talk. You 
don't know how glad I am to see you. You lunatic. You broke into the board's own fortress yes. and killed the chairman just to rescue one doddering old man. Mm. You are absolutely out of your mind. And I can't begin to thank you enough. The board never stood a chance against me. Ah, all in a day's work for you, huh? Yeah. You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. Great. And I was just about to celebrate. I would like nothing more than to celebrate this victory, but we have a serious problem on our hands. What now? Earth has gone dark. What? We received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. Okay. Not okay, but okay. Are you telling me the Earth went dark three years ago, and the board's just been covering this up? They've been incredibly effective at concealing the truth. Right now, the only people in the colony who know are standing in this room. So we've got to make do on our own. Seems to me that'll make us stronger in the end anyhow. You're quite right. We've got no choice but to make do on our own. We're in serious trouble, my friend. As always. This means for Halcyon, we no. can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. We have a lot of work ahead of us with Bezga started yes, now. Do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed. Including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? I was no, somebody has to ring. You can count me, I'll help you revive the colonists. When I revived you, I thought you were going to help me save this colony. I was wrong. I had our roles reversed, you see. You're the one who's going to save us all. I'm just the one who set you on your path. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Our future is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, isn't it? The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment she landed in Emerald Vale, her actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Between MSI's worker-centric policies and the iconoclast manpower, 
Sanjar and Zora were able to rally many of the Terra II townships to their cause. MSI's workforce swelled, and the iconoclasts enjoyed a significant surge in their ranks. The board was too distracted by infighting and internal politics to stop MSI from becoming a powerful corporation and a refuge for townships that might have fallen through the cracks. Consumed by paranoia, Lilia Hagen took Sublight Salvage in a controversial direction, openly accusing board officials of an extraterrestrial conspiracy. One day, an accident at the Groundbreakers' docking bay silenced her forever. Time would tell if her replacement could keep the Sublight family together. Adelaide McDevitt replaced Reed Thompson as the leader of Edgewater. She and her followers transformed Edgewater in their image. Anyone loyal to Reed was pressured into leaving town, and those who stayed behind adapted to her way of life. Adelaide transformed the old cannery into a new garden. The nearby Edgewater Cemetery provided a convenient source of fertilizer. Under the leadership of June Lay Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave June Lay the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's traditions. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark time indeed. Your influence shifted Ellie's perspective. She finally admitted, albeit grudgingly, that she just might need other people. Sometimes. With a steady income from the life insurance payouts, she was finally able to afford a ship of her own. She hired a small crew and flew supply missions to communities on the fringe. Some of them were even legal. Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Milstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. As much as he enjoyed his adventures aboard the Unreliable, the vicar, known as Max, eventually decided that it was time to move on to live out the life he had sought so long to create. He knew there were many in the colony who carried burdens much worse than the ones he had struggled with, and he devoted himself to easing their suffering wherever he could. He only ever took up arms again to defend the defenseless, unshackled from a lifetime of striving and fighting the universe and himself. Vicar Maximilian de Soto was finally at peace. Once the matter with the Hope colonists was resolved, June Lay bashfully asked Parvati if she'd like to join her permanently on the Groundbreaker, and Parvati enthusiastically, if somewhat awkwardly, agreed. The stories of her adventures spread across the colony, and Parvati soon found herself the center of attention. Having served as the engineer of a renowned spacecraft, tramp freighters and wildcat miners sought her out by name. And in no time, she was a fixture in the Groundbreaker's mechanical ecosystem. She and June Lei were never far apart. Nioka returned to Monarch to take another crack at making a permanent life for herself. She formed the Caron Group, a mercenary outfit of ragtag survivalists and wilderness experts. Anyone in need of a guide or just looking to throw back a beer and swap stories could find her camping on the trail or clearing an infestation. The SAM unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in SAM unit sales. D-1 
Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? Minister Clark was released from house arrest and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. He eventually came to terms with his own past and was able to forgive the mistakes of his younger self by devoting his remaining years to serving the colony. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the Ministry. Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. In the end, Dr. Wells was able to save every scientist and engineer aboard the Hope. Over the next decade, nearly all of the Hope's remaining colonists were successfully revived. Halcyon saw a period of rapid technological and scientific advancement. Breakthroughs in dietary supplements saved the colony from starvation. Geoengineering projects and social reforms began to change the structure and character of the colony. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Today, Halcyon has stabilized. The people of the colony work hard to adapt to their new circumstances. Nearby colonies send aid and supplies. Life will never be easy in Halcyon, but for the first time in its history, there exists a sense of real, genuine hope about the future. And what about you? the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon. Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. No one knows what's happened to Earth and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this, the name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. And that was the Outer Worlds. <laughs> oh my, it was so great. Mm loved it especially the sam unit well okay that's it thank you very much that's gonna be it stay alive and see you soon in some other games bye